All right, hello guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Zenith OS under these current conditions. These several months that have passed, the way things have worked has changed a little bit. ISOs are not gener gener generated automatically anymore, and you're going to have to go through a few more steps. There are um, there are stable releases that you can easily access in the releases page. The latest one is from April 17th, but in case you don't want to wait for the next one, you want to see how the project is in its current state and try it for yourself either on bare metal or in a virtual machine, then I'm going to show you. Obviously, these instructions are going to be in uh, Linux and I do not think that there is a easy equivalent of doing all this in w Windows 10 or whatever Mac is doing these days. Big Sur, Catalina, Mojave, whatever they want to call themselves. So let's get to it. First things we're going to do, let's make a folder, call anything you want, open it in terminal, clone the github, wait for it to download. When that's done, I want you guys to see here, you need to have these three dependencies ready, libfuse-dev, make, and nasm. And any of these are available in the Ubuntu repositories. They better be in the, <laughs> the repositories of uh, distros like, you know, Debian or Arch. That would be pretty embarrassing if they hadn't didn't have it. So whatever your package manager is a way of getting those getting those uh dependencies are, go for it, then continue. Uh, continue along with this. So now go to CD Zenith OS. We're going to do sudo make. It's going to do some stuff. Okay, now we're going to do sudo make run. Camu is going to launch Zenith OS. We can just press some random letter on the keyboard, click on do distro, and press F5. This is going to take at least a minute or so, depending on how fast your hardware is. So give it a bit. Alright, alright, let's see, let's see. So. That took 95 seconds, not bad, not bad, but we're right now going to shut down Camu and there we're going to, we're going to do sudo make export fat32. All right, all right, now that that's over with. Let's go to source, let's go to TMP, and we now have mydistro.iso.c. So renamed it. Alright, let's copy paste that. Maybe it doesn't like being modified right now. Is it doing anything? Alright, let's just let's copy paste it. Let's move it here. Paste. Rename to um Based.iso, and now we have our ISO and we can run it on any virtual machine we please. So let's get VirtualBox open. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, yep.
All right, don't forget to select it. Okay, and it should run now. All right, cool, cool, cool. And we can install to our heart's content. Oh yeah, I forgot, I only put one core, that's funny. And don't forget that when we reboot, we first want to, in the case of VirtualBox at least, we now need to take out the ISO, make sure there's nothing there, because it'll boot from that first. And it should work. My condolences, by the way, if you try running this and it's expecting four cores and your system doesn't have four cores or more, I don't know what's going to happen in that case. And I don't want to know what happens. Probably pretty frustrating if it didn't work. Because when we ran that Kemu, it was set up to have four cores working, even though what we did seemed to only occupy one core. So let me try something. Let's let's try uh I heard that the sprite drawing program changed a bit, particularly the 3D stuff. Let me see if I can notice a difference. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. So if you do the left control, you can pan. Oh, and it centers it if you do left control and right click. All right, well, I haven't practiced with this, but I just wanted to make an update video to show how to install it. And maybe, <laughs> Maybe I'll actually follow up on my promise when I said I would make more content on it besides installation videos, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, have a good day.